Hi, my name is Keith Cooper from Northlight Images and uh, in this short video I'm going to try and show the effect of using lens tilt. Now in this particular instance I want to get the plane of focus, of sharpness, to run right the way along this plane and it's a typical example where you might want to photograph things on a wall and you want the wall in focus but you're not necessarily bothered about what's over on the other side. Now the lens I'm using for this is a Canon TSE 24mm. It's f3.5. Now 3.5 is not really a big enough aperture to clearly show the uh, effects of out of focus, certainly not on video. It's useful, but uh, it doesn't make it quite so clear. So I'll also be doing some examples using longer focal lengths, wider aperture lenses, which show the effect much more clearly. But I'm hoping to do a series of videos uh, covering this. I've done a few covering using lens shift, which is uh, much easier to explain, but tilt is a bit more complex. Anyway, let's go behind the camera and adjust some settings. The view you can see here is uh, focused somewhere out in the mid distance, a few meters away. I can change the focus so we can go, that's with the lens at just infinity and I could focus much closer. So the plane of focus now is quite close and we've got that nearby picture is in focus, but the rest isn't. So I can do that. Mm, yeah, we've got a fairly broad plane of focus which you'd expect from a 24mm f3.5 lens, but it's not great, not if I want real detail. Now, this is where I get my trusty tilt tables out and look for 24mm. I know this distance here between this plane and the camera is around about 30 centimeters. I look on the table, I look at 30 centimeters, and it's 4.6 degrees, so around about five degrees of tilt and it's tilt that direction. So tilt that direction will have the plane run there, tilt that direction would have the plane run along here. So I'll just set the lens at infinity, give some tilt and it doesn't need to be that precise because you're going to adjust it anyway and the shorter the distances here are the easier it is to do it by eye rather than precisely by the numbers. But anyway, that's with the lens focused at infinity. And if I just adjust it a bit more, we can get to a point where everything is sharp. And hopefully, plane focus sharp here, here, here. Um, I should be relatively out of focus, but my hand should be in focus. So we've got a plane of focus running along here. This is with the lens focused at infinity, remember. Uh, this is the bit that people find difficult to comprehend with tilt lenses, is that the distance settings on the scale, once you add tilt, the distance settings no longer correspond to distances. They correspond to the setting of the focal plane. So it's a combination of tilt and the lens focus setting that does it. Now, if I change the focus, I can now run the plane of focus so it runs from this picture right the way over to the plant over in the corner. So we have a diagonal plane of focus running across the image. And there we go, it's felt right across, there we go, we're back now and I'm running the plane of focus roughly along the cabinets there. So the pictures should all be sharp. And that's all it's taken to have this plane in focus. Now, that's a plane over to the left-hand side of the camera. It could equally well, I could have a plane over the other side of the camera, or I could use tilt upwards, and I could have the plane of focus running along the ceiling, or if I have it tilted downwards, I have the plane of focus running along the floor. It all depends on which angle you tilt the lens. And if I just go, more tilt, you'll notice that tilt does introduce a bit of distortion. If I just take it back again, in fact take tilt the other way, we're now exacerbating the out of focus effect on this side and we get a much stronger out of focus. So I've now got the plane of focus running through the picture of the chilies by the door and see how out of focus the pictures on the 
cabinet are. We move the plane of focus. Now what I'd say is experiment with these sort of lenses. There's no substitute for just doing this and getting a feel for it. We're now back to no tilt at all. So that's close focus, that's, for, that's focus further away. So I just move the plane of focus backwards, forwards in the image again, and we go back to that. So that's a very quick indication of how tilt works so to get run along here. I'm going to try and do some more videos like this that explain aspects of using tilt. As I say, I've got other lenses to use. Uh, this lens uh, is a medium format lens, 55mm f2.8. Uh, it's on a photodiox tilt shift adapter for RF mount, available for Z mount as well. And I can use tilt of this. Um, the effects are a little bit less predictable because this was never designed as a tiltable lens, but it does work and it works very well. But anyway, I'll cover that in another video. Hopefully uh, you found this of use. Um, I have actually written a book of uh, how to use lenses like this and uh, details are in the links here. And I've got loads of articles as well written on the Northlight site about doing it. So hopefully that's been of help. Thank you.